Hey guys, welcome back. So I was trying to think of something that we could chat about today and I came up with this idea of makeup grab and gab solely because if you were to come over to my house or just any of my girlfriends who know me can attest to this, we just grab things out of my makeup drawer as we're putting makeup on and we start chatting about it. And so, you know, certain things spark this conversation or so on and so forth. And so I've grabbed some things that um, I have a few new things here a few techniques that I've been doing, um, just some things I kind of want to chat about. So get yourself a beverage of some sort, sit back, kick back, pretend you're here, and let's start gabbing. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is I've had this product and I use it a certain way, but this week I discovered a fantastic way to use this. Now, there are other products that, that you could buy that will do this technique, but this is what I had. And I'm kind of at this point now where I want to use what I have and not just go out to buy something new just for one. You know what I mean? So anyways, this is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution anti Sunshine Sunshine Drops. Looks like this. Now, how I normally use this is I mix this in with my sunscreen and it nicely tints your face. It gives you a little bit of a bronze, a little bit of color. Um, days I don't want to wear makeup at all, but I just want to do my skincare and my SPF. But maybe I need a little color or I want some color on purpose just to kind of tint things up here, conceal any redness. But how I have been using this is as a cream bronzer. I thought that was pretty genius. You could also put a pump of this into your phone foundation to darken it or to give it a little bit more of some color maybe <laughs> if you're anything like me you're kind of transitioning from your pasty self I've been outside a little bit I'm getting a little bit of color and so some of my foundations are quite perfect and so adding something like this is great but I've really been liking it as a cream bronzer and that's how, what I use today is because it looks so natural you don't have to deal with powders and blending powders and looking powdery or makeup-y because this is like a gel consistency and it also comes with a nice pump so that's convenient. I don't know guys, I really like this as cream bronzer. I know that's not its suggested use. Well it says you can apply it to face, chest, legs or anywhere else you want to touch a bronze. So maybe this, this is a great way to use this other than just adding it all the way into something. But it's working great. I blend it out with a beauty blender. I don't go ham. I just do enough because I don't want to be super bronzed and then this be white, you know. But I think that it's subtle. But you can see it's perfect though because on camera, yeah, you want to have some makeup on so you look like... Okay, so what I'm trying to say is in real life the makeup that you would wear would be different than sitting on camera for pictures or something. Because you need more color, you need more contrary, you just need more definition. But mano y mano, like, I don't want to look like cake face. I just, I just don't. I've really been enjoying a lighter hand with my application of my makeup. So this, you guys, is wonderful. While we're still talking about cream products, I want to give this a mention because I've been using this for my cream highlighter. Now today I started off with this and then I went over the top of it with a little bit of my hourglass bron or highlighter because I really like, mm, just love my hourglass one. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have shade 2. It comes in lots of different shades. It looks like so. It's a wand. I take a little bit of this like that and I dab it like that with my beauty blender. Now I am doing this, I am doing this bronze step and this cream highlight step after I have foundationed, concealered, set my under eyes, but I have not done any powder out here. And I'm actually finding with my dry, dry skin right now, I don't know, I've never been dry at this time of year, but I am right now. You know, every year is different. We're getting older, not younger, and things change. So I'm really enjoying the creamy products on a drier skin type. Now I think if you're oily, I just don't think you'd like this. I really don't. Um, you could try it. You know, Sephora's got a good return policy. You can buy this off at Nordstrom. They got a good return policy. Um, I never steer you away from trying something because you can always use it differently or apply things differently or, you know, create your own way to make something work. Um, and I think it's fun to try new things. Um, I just, just keep in mind, if you are oily, I would not mix this in with foundation and put it all over your face because it's probably going to make you look in a way that you're not happy with. So I, this is not a new conclusion. This has been an always conclusion. But I had my friend over here yesterday, and I'm like, you know, she doesn't have a Chanel blush. And I'm like, have you tried them? <laughs> and she's like, no. I'm like, just open one up. Put it on your face. Give her a smell. I just really like Chanel blushes. I think for me, the packaging 
I love the simplicity of it. I like the Chanel logo. I think it's very elegant. I think it's sophisticated. Yeah, they're spendy, but for me, makeup isn't just like, I can go to the drugstore and get something great, right? But it's how it makes me feel. And I think those of us who are makeup lovers, we understand that statement. Um, maybe if you're new to makeup, you're like, say what? Um, but you know, it's in the application, it's in the process, it's in the creativity aspect of it. And then when you have a product that smells great, looks great, feels great, lasts well, like it's a no-brainer. So I just wanted to share that I really love my Chanel blushes. And if you're looking for a gift for somebody to splurge for yourself, um, a brand you haven't really delved into, I do love their blushes. I own several. This is the first one I ever bought. And, you know, she's great. This is Rose Ekron. It's just a really nice, soft rose. It's not a bam in your face kind of color. It just... It blends really well. I'm actually wearing a Chanel blush today. This is a, I think it's called Carice. It's like a soft peach. Not sure if that's a permanent item. However, they do have peachy shades within the line. I just appreciate how they have a soft rose smell. They just are beautiful compacts. And I think you need to give them a gander if you haven't. Let me swatch that. This is Makeup Gab, right? So let's just add a little swatch here. Now keep in mind, when you're swatching things with your finger, it's going to be different during application. I mean, you're not going to apply blush this heavily. But I really like the soft rose quality. Are we too bright here on lights? Let's turn that down. A soft, beautiful rose. Like that color is like, to me, a bl that just says blush. Does it not? I mean, it says the color you would flush. It's never going to look makeup-y. It's never going to look unnatural. You're going to look in the mirror and just feel pretty. I just love this color. Oh, just wonderful. So Rose Ekron, for me, is um, one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm kind of grabbing some things that my friend and I talked about just because it's like, you know, I like to create videos that I myself would watch or like scenarios that I would find myself in, which is just chatting with a friend about things. So if you guys like this topic or this idea, um, I like this, so we'll continue this. It's kind of like throwback where I would share like weekly favorites of makeup I was using. Um, but sometimes, like week to week, my makeup doesn't change, like I don't use different things. And so I kind of like the concept of just sharing like off the cuff, whatever. So Burberry eyeshadows. I'm also kind of sharing some of these things because uh, the Sephora, uh, VIB sale. I don't know if they're going to rename it this year, but the spring sale is coming up here in April. And so, so, you know, you can pick up these things at Sephora, but Burberry eyeshadows. I'm realizing I should have turned my light down during my last video, but okay, whatever. Uh, this shade is so like understated. There's such an understated, elegant quality to this. This is Burberry's Rosewood. In fact, you're looking at that thinking, Chelsea, that is the most boring shadow I've ever seen. Well, sometimes boring shadows in the pan are amazing shadows on the eye because they're so understated that they sculpt, define, and brighten your eye color because they aren't the center of the show, you are. And to me, I feel like that's what makeup really should be. It should be elevating you and not like wearing you. You know, and I, so something like this, it really just defines my eyes. I, my friend Tasha, she put this on her green eyes, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. On blue eyes, I imagine on brown eyes, it would be gorgeous. I don't see why not. The Burberry formula is effortless. Like, that's one slight swatch just swept <laughs> across my hand there. It has a little bit of a sheen. They blend like nothing. Like you don't have to worry, am I gonna be able to blend that out? Uh, yeah, even the darker shades, cause I have some dark shades by Burberry. You're gonna be able to blend that out. But this kind of color, I'm telling you, so understated in the most perfect way. So check out the Burberry eyeshadows if you haven't because the formulation is divine. All right, let's talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing because I love this lipstick. I remember when I bought this lipstick a few summers ago. Actually, I think like three or four summers now. Uh, but this is by G Givenchy. And I am a lipstick junkie. And I really like high-end lipsticks. I like nice packaging. This is real leather on the outside of this. 
I like nice, nice packaging. I love um, those unique shades that are kind of like in between. So every makeup line has a red, a berry, a pink, a nude, right? But it's those in between shades that get me. Uh, and I'm not saying this is necessarily an in between shade. It's just a really lovely brighter shade of peach, which for me falls into like my nude. Like a nude for me is like a peachy nude, a pinky nude, but it's like a nude that still has some pigmentation. It still has some color to it. It's not like a flat, like the color of my walls here. It's, it's going to still do something for me. It's going to define my lips, but as you can see, this is like a nude for me. So this is what the bullet looks like. Ooh, I love this zooming in quality here. I hope this area is working out for filming because I'm actually really liking it. My only uh, reason why I didn't film out here previously is because of the echo, even though I do have a microphone. I just can't sometimes be helped. So there's a swatch. This formulation is a light weight feel, like it is a thin consistency, but it is pigmented. It has a nice sheen to it. It feels very comfortable on the lips and it wears off evenly. So you don't have to worry about if you're going to go for a darker shade in this, that it's going to wear off weird. Um, it's comfortable. This Givenchy, what is the actual? Le Rouge. This is number 102, Beige Plume. I don't think it's very beigey. I think it's a definite, beautiful peach. And uh, there's a lot of colors in this particular line, a lot of colors. So there's something in there for you. I actually have like three or four of these. I really enjoy them. Okay, so I have three lipsticks that my friend gave me. We were kind of like chatting in her bathroom, you know, going through makeup like girls do. And she was like, I don't wear this. I don't like this. And, and so she gave them to me. And so I've been testing them out and I like them. So I thought I would share them with you. And that's the thing about makeup. We all have our comfort zones of what colors we like to wear, what formulas we like to wear. Our skin is different. Our, like, so many things are different about every person. And so that's what's great about having so many options because just because option A works for you doesn't mean it's gonna work for the next person. So I'm just gonna share with you these three things. They may not have been her favorite. Um, I'm not saying these are favorites, but I like them. So. This lipstick, I have several shades in, or this, I should say, this formulation. This is the YSL, or E. Saint Laurent, um, their Rouge Pure Couture line. This is just a little sample. I imagine this probably was a Sephora Point Perk or something. I like those, though. I really appreciate a small lipstick when you can get it at Sephora with your points, or as like a Rouge code, or just even a code when you're ordering, because I don't need full sizes anymore because I have so many options, but if I want to try a new formulation or a new color, I, I want a smaller size. And these are perfect for travel. They fit in your purse oh so well. Bring it with you on date night to touch up. I really appreciate this size. But this is the shade number one, and it's just going to be your just a red, right? So I wore this. I went to her house. I put it on, and then I left to go shopping for some dresses and uh, which those videos are up if you miss them. I believe I'm gonna put those up before this video. So uh, you need to go check out my latest uh, spring hauls here. And I got so many compliments on this lipstick. So many people said, your lipstick is great. What color is it? You look beautiful. Like, I'm like, well, you know, red lipstick is my thing. Like if I had to choose a shade of lipstick to wear the rest of my life, I'd probably choose a shade of red or fuchsia just because it's probably one of my more flattering colors. But this formula is really pretty. Uh, this is just a nice red. I would say that this has, hmm, I was gonna say it's a blue undertoned red, but I would say it does have a slight warmth and a slight cool tone. So if you don't like an orangey red and you don't like a really blue red, maybe give this color a look because it's kind of in between. It's kind of more neutral. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good summer color too because it's a little, um, it's got that warmth and a little brighter. So give this, give this line a look too. Maybe red's like not your thing. They have a lot of colors in this range. Okay, next is a product I've never tried, but my friend Jelena kept telling me to buy these. Um, <laughs> I believe it was this one. And then the other thing, actually, I think she, she likes both of these. And I just never got around to it. You know, sometimes you just don't get around. It's like new. I like to wait it out to buy certain things unless I know I'm really going to like it or I want to buy it to review. But most of the time, I buy knowing I'm probably going to like it because I, I do return things. Absolutely. If it's not working, I return it. Why have it 
waste you know waste money um, but I just I just didn't ever go out and buy these this is the velvet lip glide by NARS and this is the shade Cartagena Cartagena you guys this is the most prettiest pinky color ever um, I was thinking about trying these on now it's not gonna go with my look today uh, but this velvet lip glide it feels so good on the lips. It is hydrating but pigmented. And it's not like a gloss because there's some there's some color payoff here. Uh, when you do that between your lips, it's not sticky. It just glides kind of like I almost want to say vinyl. But it's a it's kind of like a thin hmm just a really unique formulation. So there's the color there. Ugh. Oh. So good. Now next to that red, maybe I should have swatched it right there. Um, but it is a definite cooler tone, magenta with a bit of dusty quality to it maybe. I'm not sure how they describe this, but I'd say it's like a deeper medium pink berry color. But it's really gorgeous. And the formula is really nice. And so if you haven't tried these, or maybe you have, I really like this color. I don't want this video to be over. However, this is the last thing that I have to talk about. It is also by NARS. And this is the Power Matte Lip Pigment. So I'm not into liquid lipstick. And I say that hesitantly because I have liquid lipsticks and I do wear them. But after a certain amount of time, I just, I don't like how my lips feel. I feel like as you age, having something more supple and hydrating is more youthful than putting something flat and matte because flat and matte are not forgiving and uh, I'll leave it at that so this is the shade haze That's what the packaging looks like just very sleek and this color is kind of like hmm how do we want to describe this it's a beautiful color it's, it's darker it's deeper but it's still dusty it's like a dusty mauve with a hint of, uh, hmm, I don't know, you tell me. It's really pretty. And this was also comfortable on my lips. Now, after, like, like I said, after a certain amount of time, I like to take a gloss and put it over. But I wore this, let's see, all afternoon, drank several different things, and I experienced no weird rubbing off, no crusty cat butthole lips, which happened to me earlier in the week with a different liquid lipstick. Um, it wore off evenly. It just was really nice and comfortable. Pretty dang comfortable. So I would give these a look too, just for kicks and giggles. If you're looking for a new shade and you want something that's got some longevity to it, these are great. I can see how if you are like outside of the home working and you don't really want to be concerned about your lipstick, but you want to still look put together and have a full face of makeup on, I can see the draw, the appeal in these. It's just that, oh, I just don't like that feeling. I think if you like the appeal of something longer, maybe try the lip glides or honestly like buy one of each and then <laughs> put this over the top of this. I know that's high maintenance, but hey, if you're a makeup lover, you probably do that because I do that. Um, and you know, just just to get the look. Sometimes you just have to go over and above to get the look that you like and the comfort level, you know, that you're willing to pay for, I guess. By golly, this was fun. I want to do this again. You let me know if I should do this again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And um, should we make this a weekly thing? No, no. You let me know. So I have. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will chat again soon. Bye, guys.